Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to set up an Alibaba Cloud Container Service Kubernetes cluster. A running Kubernetes cluster is a prerequisite step towards building containerized applications and environments with Kubernetes. Make sure you have activated Alibaba Cloud's Container Service, the Resource Orchestration Service, Resource Access Management, and Elastic Scaling Service. First, head over to the Products page on the console and click Container Service. You will arrive at the Container Service console page. Make sure the Container Service Kubernetes option is selected before clicking Create Cluster. In the Kubernetes tab, give your cluster a unique name and pick your region and zone. You can auto-create a VPC for the cluster or use an already existing VPC with Use Existing. We'll pick Auto-Create. Now set the Master and Worker Node configuration. Master nodes default to a three-node allowance. We will create just one worker node for the cluster, but in practice, you will usually have many more worker nodes than masters. If you have connected up a pre-existing VPC, you can add pre-created ECS instances to the worker nodes here. Set a key pair or password for security purposes and pick the Kubernetes version you require. Select the required services. For auto-created VPCs, you must select SNAT. If you wish to expose the API service to the public network, you must select Public SLB. You can enable SSH if you wish. We have chosen to install the monitoring, logging, and network plugins. The advanced configuration details allow you to set a maximum number of pods per node and decide whether to install a CA certificate. When you're ready, click Create in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If there are any required services or rules that are not activated, you will be warned. When you're ready, click Create again. You will see confirmation of your cluster setup and the associated costs and billing methods. When you're happy with the details, click OK. You will see a screen detailing the cluster creation process. This process may take a while. Please be patient. Once everything is created, you will see the components marked in green and a message saying the cluster has been successfully created. Click Clusters. You will see the cluster running. Click the cluster name. You can see basic information on the cluster. On the Node List page, you will find details for the cluster nodes including status, roles, CPU usage details for each node, memory usage, update time, and a click-through to view the Alibaba Cloud Monitor page for each ECS instance. You can see details of all events on the cluster on the Event List page. You can also click through to Cluster Audit, where you will see information on events, visitor details, server loads, etc. This page will be useful when the container stacks are running. You are now ready to build your Kubernetes containerized application environments with Alibaba Cloud's Container Service. Thanks for watching.